Hey, what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> All right. So I know it's been a long time since I posted my last video. Um, you guys are probably wondering why I started this video laughing, and it's because of everything that has occurred while I'm trying to record this video. Even now, um, I'm not really happy with where I'm at and uh, the quality of the sound. I'm sure it's gonna sound really bad and I apologize. Um, I'm working on a new thing where um, I try to, instead of use my excuses to hinder myself and what I wanna do, I'm using my, or I'm being productive and I'm finding solutions for my excuses. So uh, my excuse for not recording this video for a long time is that I don't have a space uh, of my own to record this. Um, and also I have four kids that uh, love to run around all day so I can't really uh, get out a chunk of my time to record this peacefully and calmly. Even right now as we speak, I just had to cut right there because a big wind came through and um, you're asking why I'm outside? Well, it's because I literally couldn't find uh, a place in, in the house to record this and uh, be quietly. <laughs> so I literally had to just grab my stuff uh, and go outside. I couldn't find good lighting. Uh, I couldn't find a quiet space. So instead of like just being, just saying F it, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I decided to be productive and actually go outside. And even though I'm, like I said earlier, I'm not happy with where I'm at. Um, at least I'm doing it and you guys will see this. Uh, but besides that long-winded intro of me venting, uh, the reason why I've been wanting to post is because I did want to post regularly uh, after my post in October. Uh, <clears throat> but like I said, excuses get in the way, and I have I just haven't. Um, so right now is as good a time as any to say what I've had to say and what's been on my mind. Um, pretty much what I want to do is give you guys an update from that video. Um, this is pretty hard for me to say this. That's another reason why uh, I haven't recorded this because I'm actually gonna give you guys numbers uh, of my weight and everything. And that's that's really scary to do, I guess. <laughs> Not just because I'm putting it on the internet because I know there are gonna be people that know me, they're gonna watch this. And, it, and yeah, it's just a scary thing to put out there. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm not done making excuses because I think everybody has excuses and valid ones, but what you have to do in my opinion, and what I'm trying to do this year and, and moving forward is not use those excuses as a hindrance, um, rather than troubleshoot a situation and overcome an excuse, um, that at the end is going to be more beneficial to your character and to what you want to do. You're actually going to be able to produce the, but whatever, that's not what this video is about. Um, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm, uh, it is kind of scary for me. So I'm kind of just, uh, beating around the bush, trying to see how I'm going to say it, but whatever, I'm just going to say it. When I recorded that video in October, uh, I was probably about the heaviest that I've ever been in my life. Um, which I, I honestly can say, I don't know. And the reason I can tell you that I don't know is because I was so scared to check that I never checked. Um, what do I mean by that? Uh, I didn't own a scale uh, before like the end of October or a little bit in November after that video came out. I didn't own a scale. So the only way I measured myself was going to Publix or going to a grocery store and checking on the, on the weight. Well, if you go to any grocery store, at least the ones over here around where I live, they stop at 300. And um, so, I mean, that's for, for most people that that's that's fine. While sometime in the summer, I started pegging 300 on those scales. Um, and what that means is it was getting all the way to 300. And obviously since it, it that's where it stops, it was just stopping there. So clearly, that means I was 300 plus. Um, well, in my mind, I kept trying to trick myself into saying like, well, it's not that bad. I'm probably like 305, 302, as long as I as, as I maintain what I'm doing right now. And then I just, 
uh, burn some calories and, and eat a little bit better. I'll, 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 I'll drop back down to the two hundreds easily. Well, when I posted that video, I was already going to the gym. I was already going to the gym for weeks. Um, and I'm very limited in what I can do, but I'm still, uh, burning a lot of calories. I'm doing a lot of cardio. I'm still lifting weights. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell, uh, from just this little, but I, I've, I've lost quite a, a, um, a good amount of weight, um, so far, and I'll get this to the specifics soon. Um, but I just want to tell this little snippet because I think a lot of people go through this. I think a lot of people go through like them trying to trick themselves into, in, into feeling better about yourself when in reality you're not, you don't feel good because that's the, my reality was I didn't feel good. I didn't like the way I looked. I still don't technically like the way I look, but I see the progress, which is motivating me to push even, even more. Like I said, I'm getting ahead of myself, but, um, basically going back to my story i was pegging 300 and i was tricking myself into thinking that it wasn't that bad and um <clears throat> and then i started going to the gym i recorded that video i felt really good about myself i'm like you know what i'm gonna buy a scale why because i feel like i'm at a point where i would l at least like the number i'm seeing for example i knew i was uh 300 plus if i got a scale and i weighed like 302 i'd be happy i'd be like oh that, that's that's pretty good I, I i probably would weigh obviously a little bit heavier but i've been going to the gym so i maybe have lost let's say 10 pounds that's that that's what my mind is saying so let's say in my mind i'm like all right well maybe the heaviest i was was probably like 310 and i've lost like eight or ten pounds so i'll be right around 300 well about the scale i weighed myself uh it was at maybe 310 uh, 309, I believe, I, 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 um, if I remember correctly, and I was shocked. Uh, I literally went into a little mini depression mode where I had like an anxiety attack because I, at that exact moment, I knew how hard I had been pushing already. I knew how 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 much better I've been eating. Uh, I knew how hard I was working to get to that spot. And it was very discouraging to know that I let myself go to the point where it was that far gone um, to where I, even after weeks of going to the gym and and eating healthy that I was still at 309, 310. Um, I staggered there for a little bit because of it, because of that, that I guess, uh, anxiety of like, well, or I don't even know how to say it. Uh, uh, I guess anxious, or I don't, I'm, I'm not honestly not quite sure what the word is, but uh, what I felt at that exact moment. Um, but it was, it was definitely shocking. Um, and eventually I got over it and I started pushing myself even harder and harder. Um, uh, and I started eating a lot better and, um, I started doing a lot more research and, and there was a lot of things that I found um, that could help me out and could help out people in, in my situation. Um, I can't do a lot of uh, high intensity workouts. I can't run, I can't jump, I can't, I, I literally can't even stand on my tippy toes yet because of the fact, because of my back uh, surgery. Um, and so I'm, I'm very limited into what I can actually do physically. Not anymore as much, like I still can't do those things, but I'm a lot better now. Like uh, I do a lot of walking and, and uh, I'll get into that some, uh, uh, some other time. I'll, I'll get into more specific of what exactly I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but I, but one thing I, I, I looked into was intermittent fasting. And um, for many of you that don't know what that is, I'll just give you guys a little small snippet of it. It's pretty much you pick a window of the day to do your eating um so the whole point is you fast for most of the day so let's say you finish eating at 10 o'clock at night you go to bed and so from 10 uh you don't eat until you can pick whatever time you want uh depends on how, uh, how i guess how much you want to push yourself uh but let's say you don't eat till the afternoon two o'clock four o'clock um, and then you, and then from four o'clock to 10, again, you get your meals, you eat your meals. Obviously throughout that time, you still gotta eat clean. Um, but what I found is that it's, it's challenging and I like that. 
um a lot of people uh say don't go too hard at first like don't uh change your diet too much don't but i like I, I feel like everybody should do whatever feels best for them and i know me and i like a challenge um so a lot of the things i like to do is start off hard and heavy but give myself a a, a pillow i guess and then in, into it like kind of ease off a little bit so pretty much i started this intermittent fasting uh and also eating like whole only whole foods uh no carbs i did that for like maybe a couple weeks i think like two weeks i did i did it like uh hard and then once i once i i, I lost some weight and i and i saw the progress and i knew that I'm, I'm motivating a little more i kind of laid back on what i was able to eat i started eating a little bit more rice um uh, i, I uh, uh some more bread um and i was still losing weight because I just feel like when your body already is in that uh, deficit of, of losing weight, as long as you maintain and, and you're still working out, you're still getting a sweat every day. Uh, I feel like your body, especially at, at my weight, uh, at, at the level of uh, of overweight that I am, um, it's kind of it's not that that difficult to get your body to, to to lose weight because your body wants to lose the weight. But yeah, as I was saying so i i started doing intermittent fasting and it worked i did the, i did it hardcore for two weeks uh eating clean and then i started seeing a lot of progress so when i first weighed myself i was like 309 um but who knows really what my heaviest was a couple months ago or even what i was when i recorded that last video uh but right now as of this morning i'm 275 pounds um and I'm happy. I'm happy with with everything I've seen. Um, I'm happy with the progress I'm doing, and I'm motivated to continue to do it. Right when I finish this, I'm going straight to the gym. Um, um, there's certain rules I set for myself, and I'll, I'll 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 do another video. My next update, maybe. I don't. Know, I don't want to make any promises, but <laughs> I will make another video where I where I talk more in depth of exactly what I'm eating and what I'm doing at the gym um, for anybody that that cares or is struggling with the same thing or similar but yeah i mean I, I, like that's kind of the biggest update i wanted to give you guys was uh how much weight i've lost um and i uh, i just i want to keep making these and uh i joined a support group that my friend from high school uh made on facebook uh it's kind of like an accountability group accountability group um for youtube for people that want to start a youtube uh it's it's a small sort of circle of of us trying to motivate each other and trying to help us out uh so this is why this was what gave me the extra push i needed today to come out here in a random park you know, the first park i could see uh that, that didn't have that many people so that i could record this video for you guys um and for myself honestly like i said i i want to i, I want to uh be proactive this year and and not let my <clears throat> excuses be a hindrance to to my progress and my success um but yeah i just want to uh, also i guess to finish off i just want to tell everybody that, that watches this that reaches out to me that shares my stuff that likes my stuff that comments on, on my stuff that writes me messages all of you guys, I really appreciate it. Every single one of you. Um, you guys are literally one of the main keys of motivation that I use. Um, sometimes I, I feel down on myself. Uh, sometimes I, I I feel like I don't want to do this no more. Like, ah, uh, whatever, I'll, I'll just eat whatever I want. I just won't go to the gym today. And when I see a message come in of, of somebody uh, telling me to keep pushing or that, that I'm doing great, even just somebody telling me that uh they see the difference um it, mo it motivates me it pushes me it it, it 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 makes me in a gleeful mood if i would should put it that way and and yeah so i, I really appreciate you guys and i definitely want and i'm going to continue to make these videos and make them better uh make with better lighting um better sound 
Uh, I definitely want this to, to continue going because I definitely feel like this can help somebody, maybe not in my, in my same situation, but maybe in something similar or maybe in just something completely different. Um, so yeah, till next time, peace out.